What is going on YouTube and welcome back to a video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach y'all how to face your biggest fear. And that fear will be low bench press. And I'm going to give y'all tips on how to improve your bench press. I looked up on good old Google and it was like, first video idea for new upcoming fitness influencers. And it told me exactly, I have it right here on my right side. It said, put together a list of practical tips to help our target audience solve their biggest challenge and I was like what am I good at and I was like I'm good at bench press I was 138 pounds and I max at 255 so do the math it's like 1.8 your body weight it's like I'm super close to getting to elite yeah like 31 pounds ago and I'll be chilling and right now I'm like 140 so times I want times that by 140 times 2 it's 280 and I was like once I get there I'm at elite so I'm benching two times my body weight so I was like you know I'm gonna go through some tips and tricks on how I can do I do that so that's what we're doing so be prepared your notes out uh pencil out just like that and I'm gonna teach you through some tips so uh let's go all right y'all so for method number one and tip number one that I would use to uh, build a better bench is use progressive overload. Now, what I mean by progressive overload in the simplest definition possible is doing more of something you previously did before. Now, what I mean by that is there are three methods of progressive overload, and these are the three I use that help me go from 185 to 255 in six months. So, Method one is adding weight, method two is adding sets, and method three is adding reps. Now this will be on the thing of method one, method two, and method three. Now y'all can go back and pause the screen and screenshot or whatever y'all want to do, snip it, I don't care. But uh, just whatever helps y'all out. Y'all for number two, that would be is control your weight and don't eat lift. And also have proper form. Now, what I mean by proper form is don't have your like your arms out like this here while benching. Bring your, uh, your elbows in and contract your uh, your lats while you're benching. Also, have a slight arch strength. Don't have power lifts or uh, arch. That's kind of weird. But uh, just have a slight little arch. I'll have maybe a little like uh, picture of what your arch should look like and what your uh, arms should look like. Alright guys, for tip number three, and the final tip is training twice a week, and it's like practice. So, you're not going to train once, like, you're not going to do a sport and practice one time every week. You're not going to improve that much. If you practice, like, three or four times out of that week, you'll get better. Now, it's the same thing as benching, except you're only benching twice, like, two times or three times every week. Don't go past uh, three times, really. It should be too much volume on you, and you won't give enough time for your chest to rest. Now, there are other workouts that y'all can, there are workouts that y'all can do to improve your benching, by as in like growing your tricep or growing a little bit of your shoulder. But really, it's really that the tricep is a big part of your bench press. It's to help y'all lock out or get to that little like part the little phase that you have to break through your breakthrough point and i'll give you all a little workout uh or push day uh workout right here on the screen right now y'all can screenshot that all right y'all without further ado this in the video here if y'all did enjoy the video please like and subscribe and also let me know if i need to improve my content or editing in any sort of way just comment down below of those tips. Also, if y'all want any other videos or suggestions, any videos y'all want need to have or y'all need to know or learning, anyways, anything like that, just let me know. Anyways, I'll see y'all later.